Hi, it's Rick here from the CAD Jewellery School. I've noticed a number of people in the Rhino Gold forums raising issues with editing prongs in Rhino Gold 4. Just thought it would be worthwhile explaining this in a video for people. So just to let you know, uh, I am running the current release of Rhino Gold, which is, is Rhino Gold 4.0.2.1. So in a future version this may be addressed, but for now I'll explain to you how to go about this and edit uh, the prongs once we've placed them. So we're going to use the prongs in line tool. So I've got a line of gems here. I can click my middle mouse wheel and select the gems that are displayed. I'll run the prongs in line tool. I'll select the gems here. And I might just switch to my top viewport. And come in here and have a look explain what's going on so first thing I'm going to do is just change the diameter to say 0.6 of a mil I'll click on here now now holding my shift button down I can move my prongs and doing that with holding the shift button whilst holding the shift button will move the entire row of prongs but you'll see the issue at the moment is that um, it's not moving the prong at either end of the line segment. So at the start and end of a, a section, whether that's a straight line or whether that's a curve, it will place at the moment um, a prong in the center of the end stone. So I'll just quickly show you a way to solve that. You can just grab that prong and move it to the edge of that stone into a similar position as the other prongs and you can then come across to the other end and come in and move that into position so it's quite easily resolved Now just to show you that with a few other examples, let's uh, come across here and unhide a few other gems here. I'll just select this group here and run the prongs in line tool again. I'll just quickly change this diameter to 0.6 as we did in the last exercise. Change it and click on the grid. And holding my shift button down, I can move all the prong positions. But you'll notice again here that the gem at either end of my curve has the dynamic prong located right in the center of the stone. So I can just grab it and drag it to the end. And I can do the same over here. Click the check mark. So OK. So it's quite easily resolved and it displays a similar issue with a circle. So let's select all the gems here and run the prongs in line. Once again the diameter is going to be 0.6. I click on my grid to affect the change in diameter size. Now in this case you can see around a circle there's a position here where once again the prongs are located in the center of what must be the start position for the curve or the, the arrangement of gems and where it ends. So I can just click holding my shift button down I can click on the sphere to move the position when I let go it will affect all of the other prongs except the start and end point. So I can just simply 
grab one, move it across to here. And for this one in the middle, I'll show you how to resolve that one. Because if we come in here and move it, we can move it to a new position. Or we can move it out of the way, but we've got to somehow delete it later on because we, because we don't want it there. So you can either, easiest thing is just to leave it in its original position and we'll delete that in the next step. So the way we delete that particular prong is we select the group of prongs, we come across to our drawing tab and across to grouping and click on the down arrow and we select the option remove from group and it will prompt to say select the object to remove from the group and I simply click on the prong that I don't want and press enter and that's now removed from my group of prongs and I can simply come select the prong whoops not the gem and hit the delete key to delete it so my group remains a grouped entity. So to edit the prongs and put a round cap on the top of the prongs what we can do is click our middle scroll wheel on our mouse come across to select the prongs and the easiest thing is to press the F2 key on your keyboard to run the prong editor that's option one. The other option is once again clicking your middle scroll wheel selecting the prongs clicking the middle mouse button again and going to edit. In order to edit the prongs you need to select the prongs so you'll see that when a prong is selected it turns blue so we need to select them once again so I'll draw a bounding box around all of them and you'll see now that all of the prongs in my drawing have turned blue which means that they're ready to be edited so I'll switch my smooth cap function on and here if I scroll in or you can see it from there I'll adjust my cap height here uh, my smooth cap needs to be on and you can see they're now capped I can click the check mark and my prongs have been updated with caps, rounded caps. Okay, that's it. I hope that helps. Thank you.